Um, let's talk about Guantanamo Bay, because you've got a president now and President Obama who has promised since day one of his first term that he was going to close that island prison in Cuba. And now he's setting forth to let go of some of the suspects. The risk of them in a rush to get it shut down. What is that risk? The risk is huge, and I'm a, a significant critic of President Obama, his administration, in their efforts to release additional detainees from Guantanamo Bay. I visited Guantanamo Bay uh, six months ago, uh, so I've seen the circumstances. I know what kind of people are being held there. And we also know that the director of national intelligence in a report last year uh, indicated that 30 percent of those that had been released uh, during this administration's efforts to downsize and ultimately close Guantanamo Bay, 30 percent of those de detainees returned to the battlefield, the battlefield of terror against the United States. So this is a dangerous proposition and one that ought not uh, be taken lightly and Can one that President him? Obama ought not pursue. Can you stop the president? Uh, it will be very, very difficult to do so. What, what I would use this moment as an opportunity to, to caution the Secretary of Defense, Ash Carter, who must sign a, a documentation that it's safe, that it's appropriate for these individuals to be released, that that mm -hmm. uh, needs to be a sincere, honest assessment and not something that's driven by the politics of the final days of the, of the Obama administration. That's really interesting. And I want to let our audience know that the reason I ask you that question is because your home state was one of those who said not in my backyard when the government was looking at putting one of those, you know, detainees, not just one, but several in your area. So real quick, your last thought. Well, uh, for, uh, first in that regard, I would say that it's been a bipartisan effort to make certain that the, deta the detainees are not brought to the United States. President Obama has been uh, informed uh, both by letter and writing and conversations, but more importantly, through legislation, no money can be spent to do so, uh, okay. can, can be used to plan to provide a facility. We are very concerned in Kansas and other states that this is not the place, Fort Leavenworth, Kansas, uh, which is a military installation in which we train uh, military uh, in an education sense. This is not the place for detainees to be. It would diminish our, our opportunities to also bring foreign uh, military officers to Fort Leavenworth for okay. their education. Senator Moran of Kansas in the Fox Report interview, sir. Always good to have you. Thank you. Come back anytime. Harris, Happy New Year. You too.